Hey you guys, I'm recreating my 1989 prom look. 30 years ago? What? What? Uh, what? 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 Welcome back. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I wanted to do this look because I've been inspired by all of the makeup I've been doing the last couple weeks. Prom season is in full swing and it seems like there's one happening or more than one happening every weekend. So the hair, the makeup, the nails, the outfits, it is like everywhere. And I just wanted to do a little flashback because it made me dig into my pictures. I found one and I just wanted to recreate that look for you. So I'm gonna go back, of course, thankfully, I don't have the products that I used 30 years ago, but I did try to recreate the look with the products that I have today. And I kind of used some that I probably, I mean, honestly, there's a couple here that I probably did use that brand on that very day. So I wanted to start with the eyeshadow. The eyes back in the day, you know, the liner was really thick on the bottom, as you can see, and winged liner had not made the scene really. I mean, of course, that is a classic. The wing liner has been a classic look since the 50s and 60s. But in the 80s, it was a lot of shimmer, a lot of now, honestly, like, a lot of shimmer, a lot of color, although you'll see here I went super neutral on my eye because that's what I did that day. So here's a Lancome palette. I went ahead and used this because the colors reminded me of what I probably wore that night. This was a little limited edition that they put out probably a couple years ago. So yes, I know it's ready to toss it. I used the top two on the outside and the right side, and then down in the middle, I just put some gloss on. And basically, the look back then, I mean, I did my makeup really fast because it was just a little shadow on the lid. And you know, back in the day, people were not getting their makeup done like they do today. Like these girls come in, they get their hair done. I mean, maybe it was where I grew up or how I grew up, but we did our own. Like girls were helping girls. We got all together hours before prom and we helped each other out. There was no like going to the salon. So I did put the darker color right on my lid and made a, a little V area out because that's the classic V and I that's how I learned doing makeup even when I was 16, to just kind of go out here and bring it right in to give that nice almond shaped eye. Let me start. So I started with this matte color, which back in the day, everybody used just a creamy matte. If you talk to anybody, let's say 40 and over, they have one of these colors in their makeup bag because that was just what you did. You just kind of put it, there was no primer. There, there was no cut crease, there wasn't concealer. The, you know, they had concealer, but you didn't really use it. It wasn't like a big hype, you know? So you used a base color of a, of a very light shade, usually matte, put it all over, and then you took a darker color and shaded it in on your lid. And I did do that, and I just kind of blended in also a shimmery shade to give it like a little glistening effect. Very, very simple eye look, no, no liner on top, just kind of blending out up into the crease and, and that's it. Then I went in with good old black liner, no liquid happening. And it's funny because my friends even to this day will kind of tease me, one in particular, you know who you are, because I'm a Q-tip girl. Oh my gosh, I go through Q-tips even now, I mean, this little, this little jar, I put my, my brushes in it, but this little jar is from my bathroom because I keep Q-tips in it. And I use Q-tips, gosh, all the time. Even to put shadow on my lid, I would use a Q-tip because again, brushes weren't big on the scene. I mean, you had them, but you got them in your palette or whatever. And sponges, I mean, they, they beauty blender was non-existent, right? So Q-tips were my friend, the little wedges were my friend. So I went in with this liner and put it on the bottom here. And then I took a Q-tip 
and just blend it out until I made a little connection up with that shadow and got that V effect. And that was kind of it for the eyes, a little mascara, which I went in with L'Oreal because probably I used L'Oreal in 1989. L'Oreal has always been my friend. So I learned a long time ago that tipping my lashes kind of just spreads them out because I didn't do it tonight and I don't do it anymore, but I used to take, everybody had a, everybody had a baby pin. What are those called? What are the, what are the pins called? Safety pin. Safety pin. Everybody had a safety You're pin. Safety Sorry, pin. I could I was thinking of like clothes pin, all these things. So everybody had a safety pin on their makeup bag because that's what you use to go through your lashes after you put your mascara on to fan them out. What do you mean everybody had safety pins on their jackets? Everybody had safety pins on their jackets too, along with Duran Duran and Depeche Mode and who else? Untouchables. Oh my gosh. Special, yeah, there, there were 40. there are little, little few pins going on on the jackets, but back to makeup application. So I started tipping my lashes and going that way. And I, I actually do that to this day. I'll tip them, just kind of spread them out and then apply my mascara. I have gotten away from the safety pin thing. So from there, what we would do, and it's terrible, Ness and I were joking because I don't have any Aussie Sprunch. I'm not even sure if they make it still. They could. And I don't have any Aquanet, which those were my two staples from 1982 to 1989. I mean, when I first started getting perms, they became my everyday world but I would spray hairspray on just a, a disposable mascara wand. And then, well, actually it was a toothbrush. Oh my gosh. It was a toothbrush and you just kind of like brushed your brows and you, you know, I don't have the bushy brows that I used to, but man, I could get them going like, whoosh. and it's funny cause I've seen those brows again. They're, they're big this year, actually. Everything that you're seeing right now, that is like 80, 82 to 86. You know, it was color, colored mascara, colored eyeliner, colored, um, colored gloss, yeah, colored blush. I mean, it was intense. And then into the later 80s, it got a little more relaxed. I mean, of course, we still had our bold lip, Speaking of 80s, you know, I, I did want to bring it a little bit into this video. Actually, and I'm not even joking, these wider bracelets, this one, this one, and this one, they're from 1989. Monet is the maker, and I was like so, I was speechless when my father and mother bought me these. I thought I was like, the coolest cat around. Side note, these are from 1989. Crazy, right? And look at how good it looks. Still a great bracelet. Anyways, okay, back to makeup application. So I got my eyes all done and then I went in with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And it's um, one, of the one of the foundations that I did in my foundation February. If you wanna check out that video, I have a whole video on this. I really like it. It's a nice drugstore foundation. And I, back in the day, uh, what color is this? This is Natural Buff. And that's so funny because I used Buff Nude or Buff Beige starting in eighth grade. It's funny they don't change their names that much. I mean, they, they could still have them, I don't even know. I did get that one though. So I put it on with my hands and I really kind of blended it out. I don't know if Ness got on the video, but I'm like gouging my eye at one point because I'm so used to not putting foundation on with my hands anymore. And I put it all the way up by my eyes because we didn't use concealer. There was no like, I mean, I guess there was some contouring if you were into the blush thing, but I just wasn't, you know? It was a very matte, full coverage, 
face. That's, that's just what we do. And then dual finish. This is not matte buff, but matte buff is what I wore in 1989 because matte neutral did not exist at that time. I went to matte neutral probably in the early 90s and I still have it. This is a current powder of mine. Although you guys, it's full because I don't wear powder in the last few years because it's not my friend really. But I put it on for you today. And then you just followed it up with a little bit of blush. I used this pink color, it's from Sigma. It's very light. I don't know if you can, you can hardly see it because it's just a very light color. And again, I, I just didn't do blush, you know? It was, it was very like a muted um, face, I guess. Just very, very flawless no contour really to it, no highlighting going on. It was just clean in one color. I finished with lipstick. I know you guys that have watched me for a while know that I love lip liners. I've used lip liners as long as I can remember. So no, I did not have this exact lip liner, but I guarantee I either used a lip liner or an eyeliner. So I put this on, I did choose this one because it's a little deeper than my lipstick. And of course, if I'm being honest, I probably used a brown eyeliner or eyebrow pencil to use as my eye, as my lip liner because you always wanted like a little bit of a, a darker line on the outside. Not totally chola, but you know, it was there for sure. And kind of, you know, line your lips. And then you just went in with a good red lip. I chose to do the Maybelline Made For All lipsticks for my lip today because it's probably close to what I was wearing. I may have worn a Lancome one. They have some great red lips. Isabella Rossellini was like the main spokesperson in the late 80s and 90s. She has, Lancome still to this day has a lipstick called Isabella. So I may have worn that. I'm trying to think for sure, but this is close to it. So my makeup's done and all I have to do now is put on some jewelry and of course do my hair. And if you guys know anything about 80s hair, can the word just be big that comes to mind? So without further ado, okay, hair is done. I'm ready to go. I don't have the dress that I wore that night, although it was very beautiful. I will show you a picture. So the dress was very modest up in the front and kind of similar sleeves to this. And then it was backless in the back. It was so gorgeous and it was like a mermaid. Yeah, it was super pretty. So I do have an eight by 10 of that night. The only thing I couldn't recreate was the blue eyes. And I don't even know if Ness can get in that close but I did sport some blue contacts that night as well. Oh, memories. Anyways, I have had a blast doing this. I mean, it's always fun to go back. It's always fun to look at old pictures. I mean, gosh, you guys, you guys of the digital age, so sorry because you can't go back and look at pictures, like handheld pictures. Maybe, maybe print some off our phones or something, right? Anyways, it's been so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope prom season is fun for you. I don't know, you guys that watch, I don't know if you're doing makeup or if you have, you know, daughters, sisters, friends, cousins that are getting their makeup done for prom, but it is a such a memorable time in life. I hope you have a fabulous week. If you are not subscribed, please do that. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. It was a blast doing this. I hope you guys had fun watching. Um, now you can go back and check out the photos that you had of your prom. Take care, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.